It's now my pleasure to bring up Mr. Don Griffin, who's been working very closely on the campaign as well. He is the president of and West Valley. Chip Saltzman, Huckabee's uh, campaign managers, and they are very enthusiastic about the campaign and confident that they can win. <clears throat> South Carolina is Saturday, and since 1980, Every Republican uh, winner in South Carolina went on to win the Republican nomination, and several of them also won the presidency. And he's currently leading in South Carolina. The news this morning said 33% and 20% uh, to, to McCain in second place. Um, I've had the privilege of getting to know uh, Governor Huckabee quite well working on his campaign in California. I've been to several of his events. Uh, I might mention there's two events in Southern California on January 30th, uh, one preceding and one following the final GOP debate before the uh, Super Tuesday uh, uh, primaries, uh, one in Newport Beach, one in Thousand Oaks, if anybody's interested in attending. Um, Governor Huckabee is unbelievably passionate and enthusiastic about music performance, music in the arts, music education. His platform includes uh, a commitment to put music education back into every school for every grade for every pupil in the United States. And he's dead serious about doing it and he would pull it off if he was uh, to be elected president. And he's also extraordinarily enthusiastic about being a musician himself. He played bass on The Tonight Show with The Night Tonight Show Band uh, two weeks ago on a Wednesday night. I was there. Leno asked him if he um, was good enough to play with the band, and he said, not really, but I'd still like to, and he did a great job playing bass with uh, the Tonight Show band, and it was on every news network following the uh, broadcast. Um, he's very passionate even about the equipment that, uh, that he plays and that we all sell. And I'm not just supporting him because of his uh, support for music and music education. I, I actually found that out rather late in, in all the other things I found out about him. He's got a great platform on taxes, on immigration, on health care, on education. And it's just a big plus for our industry. Our industry should be enthusiastically supporting him because, uh, you know, we, we, through NAM, when I was president of NAM, we, and, and since then we've spent, uh, we've invested a lot of money doing research, connecting, uh, the study of music and music education with performing better on core subjects like math and science. And um, Huckabee is well aware of those correlations and the importance of music education and he's very committed to, to uh, furthering music education. So uh, that's uh, it for me. Henry Juskowitz uh, would like to make some comments, President or CEO of Gibson Guitars. Here's the way I look at it. We have a guy who's one of us, and he's one of us to the world. He plays musical instruments. He is, he is behind music education. He is an educator. He reflects our industry and our belief, and I think he deserves our support. But further, uh, Gibson actually has two manufacturing facilities in Arkansas. Uh, one in Conway and one in Truman. And so I, I was in Arkansas, I was doing business in Arkansas uh, during uh, Mike Huckabee's governorship. And I got to know him as a person. And, uh, and he's a great person. Frankly, I don't agree with all of his uh, conservative beliefs. Uh, but at the same time, I do believe in him as a person and a man of compassion. And so that also gains my confidence and, and, and my endorsement. And, uh, and finally, he's a Tobias endorsee. <laughs> you know, and we got to support our endorsees, you know what I'm saying? There so he, he really is a great guy. I've personally been with him. I've been backstage at rock concerts with him. And I've gotten to know him. I've met his family. And, uh, you know, sincerity is not a big thing in politics today. Here's one individual that actually is exactly what he seems. And uh, anyway, thanks for listening.